All right, welcome back. Delton 15th century Hussar Saber. This is a back sweat blade. Somewhat like a tall war type of design. Pretty awesome blade. It's a really long blade too. Um, solid leather handle and everything. Nice cross guard to it. We're gonna take a look at some up close looks at it in just a second. Um, do some specs, some cut testing as usual. Let's get to it. Overall length, 37 and one eighth inches overall length. We've got a back edge on this. This is like actually almost close to like a foot. It's probably like 10 inch back edge. It's pretty gnarly. Um, that way when you're doing any like a backward cuts, you can hit that or use the top edge as well. Not a lot of people end up doing that. But um, it's also a good way to pull your thrust out. This is intended to be a horseman sword. So you're able to have like really big slashes, your threes, your reverse angles, anything that's able to get on the flanks. It doesn't really, I mean, I don't do any horseman type of stuff, but like when we're doing like drive-by and running attack type of stuff, you end up using a lot of the same angles that you would use if you were shooting down the line on a horse. So it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, 37 inches, a little bit over a 31 inch blade. So like I said before, it's back swept. You can see it's a little bit straight here. Then shoom, it comes all the way back out. That way, I would imagine that if you're, if you're riding along, you just hold that sucker out and just be able to hit that. If you were going the other way with it, sure, you might be faster, but you don't want your blade getting stuck and getting your shoulder ripped out. So that would freaking suck. That'd be a bad day. It'd probably be your last day, to be honest with you. But primarily a slashing weapon. You have a thrust and you have the precision on it. Like there's a lot of range to it. You can't really flurry with it per se, like a like a shorter sword, like the Messer that we just um, that we just reviewed. You can't really flurry with it, but it's got it's got a lot of control. It just feels like a military saber, which it pretty much is, to be honest with you. So it feels super solid in the hands. Got a nice cross guard. The handle the handle's got these little rib designs. Piece of thin leather around it. Guard is shut on both sides. A little notch. That way your hand doesn't slide. If you have a big hand, you can go in between. If your hand's a little bit more medium size, that pinky will kind of just slide it. And you got the little retention hook right there. All right, so steel quality, <clears throat> chrome vanadium steel. It's what Delton always uses for their boy blades, not their blades, their blades. Um, Moving forward, they come unsharpened. This one has a sharpening surface on the front edge, the main edge, and the back edge as well, like I said before. Uh, two pounds, I think 16 ounces. I know it's a little bit over two pounds. Don't quote me on the exact ounces. I've literally done hundreds of these reviews, so bear with me on the little bit of, little bit of tweaks I have on certain things. So moving on from here, we're gonna do some up close looks at it. That's what I was gonna say. There's no scabbard, so if you wanna get a scabbard made, you could do something like Christian Fletcher scabbard if you really wanna spend more money than the actual sword is worth. Depends on what you wanna do with it. Um, sometimes we have one-offs as far as scabbards around the warehouse. Totally is up to what we have available. Um, you could also just make a scabbard just with a piece of leather, and just regular sewing skills. So totally up to you what you wanna do. Uh, specs on this, we'll do uh, up close looks and so you can see what I see with this blade. some cut testing with this blade. I think it's gonna do very well, but let's prove it. <laughs> Damn. But it's still a clean cut. <laughs> I'll show you how sharp this is. Don't go fluid on your verticals. Make sure you stop it.
right, so there you have it, the 15th century Del Tin Hussar Saber. So there's some specs on it, some up-close looks, and we saw some cut testing of what this horseman's blade can do. If you like this blade, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Check out our other Del Tin reviews. We've got Del Tin Mains Gladius, that we did a lot of hacking with when we used to do stuff on dead trees. We don't do, we don't do cut testing on dead trees anymore. It just doesn't make sense. And, but we do do them on the tatami mats. Looking for tatami mats, click the link below. I have it in the description below of this video. Subscribe to the channel, I like this video, and I will talk to you soon.